Hi there. Welcome to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. This podcast is all about creating a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the field of health informatics. I hope to share information and advice in topics such as health analytics, digital health, biomedical engineering, and data visualization in healthcare. And in exchange, I would love to hear from you, dear listener, about your experience and interest in this field. You can drop me a line at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com. And this email, along with any references discussed during this podcast, will be listed in the show notes below. If this resonates with you, don't forget to follow and subscribe to this podcast, as I'll be releasing new episodes bi-weekly. If you're not keeping up with the trends of work, things are definitely in transition. We have hybrid work situations where companies are trying to figure out how to balance employees who prefer to work from home versus those who prefer the office. We have the great resignation and I don't dream of labor movement. To say the least, the working world is upside down. In addition, this doesn't even take into context the pandemic where several healthcare workers are experiencing burnout and might be looking for a mid-career shift and looking to pivot into a different role. So in this podcast episode, I'm going to explore some current roles that you might have had in the past or are currently at and how you can transition into a health informatics role. So if you have clinical experience and are looking to be more involved in the technology aspect of running a healthcare organization, Or similarly, if you are currently working in the IT side of healthcare and want to transition to a more clinical facing area, a health informatics role might be a happy medium. For instance, I previously worked as a data visualization specialist and then was able to transition into a health informatics role. So let's dive into the first role. So I often get questions from listeners about if I'm a nurse or a pharmacy technician, is it possible for me to transition into a health informatics role? And I think there are many clear examples of how this is possible. So clinicians working in patient-facing roles and who have a clear understanding of clinical workflows are a great fit when it comes to transitioning to a health informatics position. And nurses can transition into a health informatics role if they are working as a super user. So my advice would be to try and transition into a super user role of the healthcare system that is used on site, whether it's Epic, Cerner, etc. If you become the go-to person, this could really put you in a great position when it comes to advocating for a career shift. For more details on this, you can check out my interview that I did with Jennifer Lewis, who works as a senior nursing manager in nursing informatics. I will link to her YouTube channel as well as the interview that I did with her. Jennifer started at, as a nurse and quickly established herself as a go-to person by finding ways to improve the workflow on her floor and making sure to highlight the changes and the positive improvements that she made by taking initiative during her informatics interview. Now for someone who's more on the IT side working as a help desk support agent, in this current role, it allows you to gain experience communicating with individuals from a variety of backgrounds within a healthcare organization, from the medical staff, the clinicians, and the volunteers. These are really invaluable skills and are at the heart of most health informatics positions to be able to communicate technical concepts to non-technical audiences. In addition, a help desk role can help you become very familiar with certain hardware or software on site because you'll be used to troubleshooting, a variety of different user issues. Again, this is a great role to transition into a health informatics role, also because you have current ties to a healthcare organization. So another role is a clinical research assistant. And I threw in this role because I have seen several entry level clinical research assistant positions where you only need less than a year of experience. And this can often be in the form of an internship or a placement. And some of these other previous roles that I described, you might need a couple of years of experience to get into a help desk role. 
But as a clinical research assistant, you can really hone your analytical skills. And this can be a great stepping point to get into a health informatics role, which might be looking for maybe two to three years of experience. And again, working as in a clinical research assistant will help you to grow your network within the healthcare organization. And this can be a great way for you to do some internal networking instead of just applying for jobs on LinkedIn and Indeed and then just th- sending your resume into the dark void and it can be very time consuming. So instead, just getting your foot in the door right after you might have finished your degree as a research assistant can really help you to hone your analytical skills and start to be well versed in tools such as R, Python, Tableau, Power BI, and these are all great analytical skills that can be applied in a health informatics role. And so the last role that I kind of want to talk about as a great stepping point to a health informatics role is the role of the project coordinator, project manager, or business analyst. And on the flip side, the project manager and business analyst often requires many years of experience, maybe three to five years of experience to really get into it. But there's a lot of parallels between the business analyst and the health informatics role in terms of defining requirements and meeting with stakeholders to create projects, whether it's building a dashboard or report that will will fulfill the conditions of what a clinician is looking to track. And these are definite tools that are in the arsenal of the project manager or business analyst role. By the way, if you need tips on how to outline key requirements with stakeholders, I have a blog post which goes in depth on what questions to ask, how to reduce scope creep, and what tools you can use to ensure your projects meet specific deadlines. So just to recap, some of the roles or experiences that you might have had as a nurse or pharmacy technician, help desk support analyst, clinical research assistant, or a project coordinator, project manager, or business analyst are great roles to transition into a health informatic position just because of the skills that you have picked up from these roles. And if you're just starting out and you're not able to get into a health informatics role, consider some of these more entry-level roles, such as a clinical research assistant, to build up your network and hone your analytical skills so that in the future you can apply for a health informatics role and get the job. So I hope these job titles have given you insight into possible careers that you can apply to today to get experience and move on to the next phase of your health informatics journey. And of course, I'd love to hear from you. What has your journey looked like? Were you able to get into a health informatics position right away after you finished your degree? Did it take you a few years? Did you transition from one of these roles that I talked about? You can email me at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com. Thank you for listening to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. I'd love to hear from you about topics I should cover in future episodes. Please consider subscribing and leaving a review. Have a wonderful day.